Okay, lead generation 101-4, seller eight by six. Remember the eight by six is when you've got someone who might be interested in selling, you wanna to touch them eight times inside of six weeks. And it should be, it could be four weeks, that's fine. And, uh, and you wanna to touch them with things of value. So this is part of uh, lead generation as, as we're talking about it in 30 days to greatness. And of course, 30 days to greatness is built on the idea that it's what you do that moves the needle. And part of what you need to do is prepare to succeed. Your background grind will allow your top side shine. When you get the opportunity, you can shine if you have been prepared, right? Because it's not just the will to win that matters, but the will to prepare that matters. Okay, so let's get it started looking at sellers eight by six, 30 days to greatness. Paul Curtis, this is lead generation 101-4. We saw the idea of an eight by six last week when we were talking about buyers eight by six. It's exactly the same idea, but for sellers. It is eight touches in six weeks or less if you want. Most will give up after a couple touches. That most realtors will call somebody once or twice or talk to somebody once or twice and they'll give up. Just today, I heard from a realtor friend about their idea to reach out to a few homeowners because of a new construction building that had changed the landscape in their neighborhood. They had a great idea. They said, you know what? I bet that new construction office building over there that's sticking up is going to be a bit of an eyesore to some of the people over there. I bet you somebody is going to want to move as a result of that new construction project. So they faithfully wrote some letters to the homeowners over there to see if anyone might be interested in selling. She shared with me today that her hunch was accurate. Indeed, one of those houses just listed, but they listed with someone else because she had only reached out to them once with that letter. And our, our idea here is to when we have somebody interested, we've already got the campaign built. We already know what we're going to say. Our rock and roll riffs are rehearsed, right? Our email copy is written. Our items of value are already in place. We just got to push the button and touch them eight times in six weeks or less. You need to distinguish yourself from the crowd by touching your leads eight times in six weeks or less. You need to connect with people over and over to demonstrate your stick to -itiveness. And yes, I looked up how to spell stick to -itiveness. <laughs> You need to outwork the competition and win the listing. Remember, the quality of your touches matters, right? You don't want to just be some noise. You want to deliver something of value. Provide value in your eight by six campaign. Think about what sellers are interested in and provide it. Think about what are sellers interested in? Well, all sellers want the same three things, right? The highest price the market will bear in the least amount of time and with the least amount of hassle. In fact, take a look at this video I put together on this very topic. The secret sauce for seller eight by six. Okay, the secret sauce for a seller's eight by six are three items of value, three phone calls, a handwritten note, and a chance to get face to face to talk about it. Those are the eight touches you wanna to be able to deliver. But how do you know what items of value are? Well, I'll tell you what they are. They're the things that touch on what sellers want. And all sellers want exactly the same three things. You ready? They want the highest price the market will bear with the, in the least amount of time and with the least amount of hassle. And so how do you show sellers what the highest price the market will bear? You can do it certainly with market reports. You can do it with a CMA or you can do it with both. You can do uh, how to increase the value of their home by showing them how to make improvements on a budget, bang for the buck. 
the top five things you can do to increase your value uh, with the biggest bang for the buck, right? So the curb appeal, the landscaping, the painting the front door, the, the decluttering, the five things, you know, the simple things that people can do to add value with, with the, the least amount of money and to do it with the least amount of hassle. Oh, by the way, testimonies about what a great realtor you are. They might feel a little self-serving and, and we're talking about items of value. How is that an item of value for the seller? I'll tell you how it is. That's what the seller wants is a great realtor. You become the item of value when you have a systematic way to deliver uh, testimonials about what a great realtor you are from people you've worked with in the past. But so the idea here is deliver three items of value, probably through email, but also through showing up. Go see them. Say, hey, I want to drop something off. Hey, I was just in the area and I've been wanting to drop this off to you. It's a great article that I wrote, uh, a blog I, I wrote a while ago about the five ways to increase value with the biggest bang for your buck when you're thinking about selling. Hey, I'm just going to drop by uh, and drop it off. Are you home? See, get face to face just to be, I'm thinking about you. I go the extra mile. I go out of my way to make sure you get what you want. Okay, the secret sauce for the eight by six. Three items of value, three, followed up by three phone calls. Hey, did you get what I sent you? I, ho I hope it really helped you. Did you read the part where it said this? Okay, and, and a handwritten note and a chance to get face to face to talk about it. Don't leave out the testimonies though. Okay, go get them. Yeah, see? There are things uh, that you need to have ready to rock. Uh, let me show you a little bit more here. Remember the secret sauce is to deliver three items of value, three phone calls, one handwritten note, and a face-to-face -face if possible. So if you're delivering a market report via email, follow it up with a phone call asking if they got it and if they have any questions. Point out some more things that are in that market report because people might click on it and have a quick look, but they don't necessarily take the time to study it or understand what it is they're looking at all the time. You be the expert and be able to explain. Yeah, I sent you that report because I thought it was really interesting how it showed that houses with the extra bathroom like you have are, show, are selling at this much more than the other houses. And so I thought that would be something you'd be interested in, see? So you'd be able to tell them something specific. And if you're delivering your top 10 top dollar tips, ooh, say that again, your top 10 top dollar tips in an email, follow it up with a phone call. Let them know you have people that could help them with any work that they may need done. You know, people do what I call deferred maintenance when it comes time to sell, right? It's true at my house today. Not everything's ready to go, but I'm not for sale, right? So there are some things, yeah, I'll get to that. I'll fix that. Well, when I get time to sell, you better believe I'm going to, you know, get those things ready. Uh, but some of them are going to be things I could use some help with, right? And I got some people to call. So if you're delivering a marketing piece, follow it up with a call and ask if they'd like to meet to talk about selling their home, right? So maybe you dropped off some things about, uh, you know, with some testimonies about how you delivered for other people as well as part of the marketing piece. And then just ask them for the appointment if they'd like to talk about selling their home. Send an item of value and follow it up with a call. The key is to have it already built. So you, you don't have to invent it every time you get a lead. The key is to have a way to deliver it while you're out working with another client or even on vacation and automate it. The key is to build the business asset now so you can put it in play when you need it. Your homework is to build the seller eight by six. Write the copy for the emails. Find the attachments you want to send Make an RPR report for a home you want to list for practice. Stay in touch with your data bank every day this week as you set out on your 20-mile march to greatness. Tag, you're it. Okay, it's a short one this time. Go get them.